Have you ever swiped down from the top right of your iPhone screen? Up until recently, I used to do this just to put my phone in airplane mode if I was getting on a plane. But there are so many things you can activate from Control Center. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about Control Center. iOS has so many neat features and different ways to access them. Control Center is one of those features that has developed over time and you may not know you can do quite a bit with just a swipe down from your phone. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful. Click on subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post new how-tos and reviews. Okay, Control Center is a feature available across the board on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. And it's really great because you can do a lot more than just turn on airplane mode with the swipe down from your phone. Let's take a look at iOS and iPadOS first. If you were to swipe down from the top left of your screen, that will bring up Notification Center. So that is a little different than swiping down from the top right. If you swipe down from the top right, that brings up Control Center. And let's look at Control Center and everything that's here. So at the top left, you've got four icons in a square, and those are your radios. Um, and then the famous airplane mode uh, button that all phones have. If you turn on airplane mode, it's going to disable Wi-Fi and cellular. Now, it used to also disable Bluetooth, but now... Bluetooth stays enabled when you go into airplane mode. Probably because a lot of people have Bluetooth headphones and keyboards and things like that, so um, that happens within that panel. On the right-hand side of that is your media controls. So if you're listening to something, you can play and pause and, and move to the next track on that. On the left-hand side, again, below your radio controls, there's a lock screen icon, and then uh, depending on what device you have, you'll either have a screen mirroring icon or a uh, vibrate icon, and that's what the bell is here. Below that, it shows me my focus mode. So if I tap on this, it'll bring up my different focus modes and I can switch between. To the right of that is a brightness controller and then um, sound control for whatever media you're listening to. Okay, below that are two rows of uh, icons for home and HomeKit devices. So if you're not using Apple Home or HomeKit, there actually is a way to just disable that and so you don't have those buttons showing up. But it's easy control for turning on devices. If I want to turn on a light, I can turn on a light here. I can turn something off and you can um, put your favorites here as well. And then going down below that is controls that you can add and change around in their order. So you'll see on the bottom left, I've got screen mirroring turned on right now because I'm sharing my screen uh, and doing this recording. The cool thing, or one of the cool things here is I can uh, tap and hold and that will set a timer and I can adjust that. So some of these you can tap and hold. Uh, one that I really like to use a lot because I wear glasses and sometimes I'm not wearing my glasses and I have my phone and I go to look at my phone and I can't see it. So I can type the lowercase and the uppercase A and I can adjust my text size here and I can do it for all my apps or just the home screen. So if I don't have my glasses with me and I need to quickly adjust because um, I just need to make the letters bigger, I can make that adjustment here. Okay, let's jump into settings and I'll show you where you can make your adjustments for Control Center. So in settings, you can go down under general to Control Center. And here in Control Center is where you can um, move around, mix and match your controls and see how they're gonna show up. You can see I've got my controls uh, here that I'm using currently, but there are so many more that you can access down below. And some of these you can access by Siri, um, something like music recognition or setting a timer or something like that. They are accessible. Code scanner, um, you can get to that through camera now. But some of these are useful to have if you, uh, example, maybe you need to ping your watch. If you can't be misplaced your watch and you always do that, you can uh, ping your watch there. Uh, going up to the top here, home controls. This is what I mentioned about home. So if you're not using HomeKit or anything like that, you can uh, turn that off. And another nice thing about 
control center is most of these are accessible if your phone is locked. I can swipe down from the top right and I still have access to control center. If I swipe down and I tap and hold, I could still set a timer here and I haven't unlocked my phone yet. So that's kind of a nice uh, feature and quick access that you have available. On Mac OS, you can access Control Center by clicking on the icon up in the top bar. And if I click on that, that'll bring up Control Center. And here you have the ability to turn off different things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop. Um, you have focus modes here as well, so you can switch to different focus modes. And you also have Stage Manager and Screen Mirroring. And then below that, you've got uh, options for things like displays and your volume control. If you've got media playing, you can see that there. And then off to the left here, I have in systems, uh, system preferences, you can go in and actually make changes to control center. So control center is accessible here. And if I scroll down, there are different things you can turn on or off. So like Wi-Fi, you can show in the menu bar or not show it. Um, so you have a lot of customization here that you can uh, you can turn on different controls or turn them off or have them show only show when they're active. So like um, a screen mirroring will only show up when it's active. And then there are other modules below that. So there are things like battery, um, fast user switching if you use that. And then there are things that show up just in the menu bar. So all of those are accessible through Control Center in Mac OS. Well, that's a quick look at Control Center. I hope you got some useful tips and tricks from it. Some of the controls can be activated by Siri these days, but you never know. You might be in a place where you can't use Siri and some of the other controls aren't available via voice command. And remember, Control Center can be set up differently on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll talk soon.